Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm here. I've got like this Swansea thing on, because why the hell not? I I literally like woke up like an hour ago. Um I just thought I never made a video on Seven's death. Seven died, by the way. To be honest, I've already kind of got over it, to be honest, so I'm not gonna do like a sad pictures everywhere sad music piano thing for rube because i actually made rube's death video the same day that he actually sadly passed away um but seven died like quite a bit ago it was some wednesday i think it was wednesday it was a wednesday in march i think it was the last wednesday in march i think um it was really sad. I just remember coming home. Um, I had quite not a very nice day that day um, with some children. Um, it had been sorted though. And basically I was just telling her, standing there, telling mom about it. And then basically she just looks very upset. And I'm like, you know, what's up? And she's like, you know, I'm very sorry to say, but Seven died today. Um, I mean, it was very horrible to hear that. I did cry quite a bit, though. Maybe we should. Maybe I'm gonna go back a bit. You know, say like what happened. So basically, um, for a while, Seven had cancer. Um, she had a tumorous growth. She was losing weight. She was losing hair. Um, her, she was getting like bald spots um, and she just got weaker and weaker and smaller and smaller and for a while she did seem to get better um, and she did seem to kind of I mean like get a bit more weight and get a bit more strength and get a bit bigger um, and the tumorous growth kind of went down a bit but I guess it's just like how the universe works, I guess, that she, she got worse again. Um, like she just got worse and worse. Got a bit of loose skin. Um, she just got worse and worse and eventually that day Um, so according to my mom and I did see the body myself, um we, she found Seven in a sleeping position at the back of the cage, um, which makes us think that she died peacefully in her sleep, which is better than her collapsing and dying slowly um, while awake. We don't think she was in any pain. Um, we, only f we only think she was in pain if something touched the tumour um, or pushed it. Um, so yeah, the tumour was located underneath her, like, I guess where her stomach would be. Um, it's really sad, to be honest. Though she did fight through it, to be honest. Um, she never stopped eating. I noticed that she didn't eat as much, but she never stopped eating. I mean, she, she always ate. Sorry, just a magpie flew right across the window. <laughs> um, she never stopped eating. She, she was always a... Uh, an eater, um, definitely. And while I've while I quickly accepted the death, because me and my family kind of knew that she would be going. Um, so while I've accepted the death quickly, my unconscious mind still thinks that if I'm trying to like clean out the the girl's cage, I may lift up a hut and she'll be there, or. <clears throat> Or if I'll be trying to pick up a guinea pig, um, I, I, I expect to see her running. Um, or if I um, like crumple a bag of spinach, she'll come squeaking. Um, or my mother's cleaning them out and they're eating in their little hutch. I'll go over and see her eating as well. Um, it's, it's really hard, to be honest. And for the first few weeks, it definitely changed something in me um, because 
my bedroom was a mess and basically I completely went off my computer I I hadn't only for homework reasons I I didn't go on my computer at all um <clears throat> I cleaned my bedroom a lot um and really sad to be honest but um it's apparently going to be raining a bit according to my computer um let's have a look so yeah today is wednesday the 4th no wednesday the 13th of the 4th of 2022 um and yes it looks like it's going to be raining a bit which is okay for me because today I'm going to swoop flipping egg the magpies back. <laughs> Just like swooped at the flipping window and then like pulled up at the last second. That scared me. Um before he would come crashing through. So yeah, I, I have kind of like cleaned my bedroom a lot and I I made it look quite a lot better. Got a bit more creative to be honest. For example oh, I should probably go this way in fact. Um, I put this shelf up, I started collecting cute little Star Trek ships, made some more drawings. Um, I'm not sure, I think Seven's death really changed me. Um, simply, I just didn't want to play on my computer anymore, which I usually do every single night. Come home, spend an hour or two playing games, maybe doing, some bit, doing a bit of writing. Um, but I just came home and I'll just get on with stuff. And I'm obviously back now. I'm playing computer games again. Um, but I am um, I don't play them as much. Um maybe like half an hour, an hour, um, playing Roblox or Minecraft and tada I'm done for the day. I love seven. She was a brilliant pig. Um was the first guinea pig we chose. Um in fact she she was um left at the pet store for quite a long time because nobody wanted to adopt her um from the pet store seven because she had red eyes, which is basically guinea pig version of racism. Like they didn't want to own seven um, or adopt her from the pet store because she had red eyes um, while the rest had uh, black eyes um, which I think is horrible and to be honest jokes on them because Seven turned out to be the absolute best guinea pig um, that we've ever had I mean I'm not saying that the others are bad that all of them are brilliant I love them all equally um, though Seven was definitely the most tame so yeah um anyway so apparently it's going to be raining today um and i'm going swimming today so the rain probably won't affect me it always seems like whenever i go swimming and we come out it's raining i'm also just watching a robin eating from our bird feeders it's quite a nice day at the moment. It looks like there has been a bit of rain because on my next door neighbour's kind of like extension roof there's a few puddles so maybe it's been raining overnight, I don't know. Um, but overall it looks like quite a nice day. So I hope you guys have a brilliant day. I'm gonna go now. <laughs> um, and see you guys later. Bye.